the reason why multiplicity would be helpful is does anybody know what the uh, what the leading coefficient of this would be? Yep. No, well, if I was to multiply this all out, what would my leading term be? Well, x times x cubed would give you x to the fourth, right? This is x plus 2 times x plus 2, which would be x squared. And this would be times x. So if you get x to the fourth, I'd have x to the seventh, right? 1, 1, 1, 1. So if I was going to find the end behavior, I was going to multiply those out. If I multiplied this all out, like the last example I did, my leading term would be x to the seventh power. Does everybody see that? Because x plus 2 squared is really x squared. So it's x squared times x is x cubed times x third is x to the sixth times x to the x to the seventh, right? Um, so, and then we have all these zeros. So can we find the end behavior from this information? Yes. Right. I, I'm not going to write it formally. I know that this is going to fall left, rise right. Now, let's see if we can graph what the graph looks like. We have zeros. When f of x equals a 0, that's the same thing as an x-intercept. OK? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So those are all where the graph crosses. Now, by knowing my end behavior, I know the graph falls left and rises right. I know negative, uh, negative 7 is an odd. So that means the graph crosses. Negative 2 is even, so that means the graph bounces. Negative 1 is odd, and 0 is odd. Right? So now it's kind of like a little game. The graph has to cross through this 0. Here, it has to bounce. So then it goes back through. It has to go through this 0, and then it has to go through that 0. So therefore, it doesn't bounce below. It bounces only above. But do you guys see the difference between odd and the even? The even tells you it bounces. So therefore, if you needed to sketch what the graph looked like, if you know the zeros and its multiplicity, you can determine which ones cross, which ones bounce. And then if you add in what the end behavior is, you can sketch what the graph would look like. Uh, it's just a sketch. I'm not doing You would have to, that's a whole difference element, you'd have to plug in points and do that, which we're not doing. It's just sketch. What is the, what is the general shape of the graph look like? So yes? the answer would just be the four multiplicity? The answers would be my answers with these m's representing multiplicity. That's all I was asking you guys to do. Yep. It's just solve them and then tell me what the multiplicity of each one was. I'm not asking you to graph it. I'm just trying to make a connection for you. Yes? 